you. All right. You're asking for it. You one more step. You're gonna get it! Fingers crossed. You are going to be very sorry if you do that. I'm not as sorry as you. Jerry's home. Come on. Come on, honey. Jerry's home. Yay. Excuse me, lady. Is this the Blake residence? Yes, it is. Surprise for her. What? Something no family should be without. What is it? Stephanie, somebody I want you to meet. <laughs> I can't tell you what his name is because he doesn't have one yet. Well, names don't seem to matter much. I had a dog when I was a kid. He was just a mutt, but to me, he was Rin Tin Tin. Rin Tin Tin? No, oh, that was a little before your time, I guess. So what do you think? Can we give this little guy a home? Sure. That's my girl. I'm gonna go inside and call Karen. Tell her about my puppy. Honey, what do you say? Thanks, Carrie. I gotta fix that screen door one of these days. I hope she doesn't think I was trying to buy her love. You know, maybe the puppy was a mistake. The puppy was perfect. You're perfect. <laughs> Give it some time. It'll be fine. I know. All it takes is time. Time is one thing I've got plenty of. I feel like I'm watching a tennis match. Stephanie, why don't you ease in for a landing? I'll stop pacing if you stop doodling. All right. You pace, I'll doodle, and we'll both be happy. We were talking about your father. My father died a year ago. I'm sorry. I meant your stepfather. My father hadn't died. There wouldn't be a stepfather. You're mad at him for dying. I'm mad at somebody. Being unable to accept your father's death is part of the reason you've been getting into trouble. I'm not in that much trouble. Suspended three times last year, twice this year. School's barely been in session two months. I know what my problem is. Him. If he wasn't here, my mom and I would be all right. Steph. You're going to have to face the fact that your mother loves the guy. She doesn't see. Doesn't see what, Stephanie? I think my time is up. Isn't it? So how was your session? OK. Listen, sweetheart, it seems like you and I are butting heads all the time. How about we try to get along a little better? Sure. One more thing and then I'll shut up. It's very important to your mother and to me that you try to get along better in school this year. What do you say? Get 
It's the last time you cause an outburst in my classroom. Hey, Mr. Conroy, Steffi didn't start it. When I want your opinion, Baker, I'll ask for it. Come on, young lady. You couldn't get yourself into deeper trouble if you tried. <laughs> Well, Nora, what do you think? I love it. I knew you would. And this is the South, so you'll have the sun all day long. What do you think, Pumpkin? I don't know. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. It comes with a swing set. Oh, oh, oh. I have a daughter, too. She's a few years older than you. Her name is Stephanie. She goes to Oak Ridge High, which is where you'll be going one of these days after your parents buy the house. What grade are you in, Cindy? Third. Third grade. I remember when Jill was in third grade. I used to walk her home from school every day. Who's Jill? That's my daughter. You said her name was Stephanie. Right, Stephanie. She goes to Oak Ridge High. Uh-huh. She's on the student council. She's a straight-A student. I'm very proud of her. Suspended again? Expelled. No! What are you gonna do? Maybe boarding school. Really? I'm sure gonna try for it. Well, what's your stepfather gonna do when he finds out? He's gonna kill me. Expelled? You're kidding. Principal said it wasn't working out. I'm sorry, Mom. Girls don't get expelled. All right. It's over. The damage is done now. What are we going to do about the future? I want to go to boarding school. You want to leave home? It's not a family without children. I think it'd be best for everybody. Best for everybody? Running away would be best for everybody? It's not running away. Well, Jerry, what do you think? I don't think we have to break up the family, do we, Pumpkin? Father knows best. to me like he wanted to erase me off the face of the earth. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, don't believe me. Okay, well, so what's the verdict? Is scary Jerry gonna let you go to boarding school? I don't know. He's this whole fantasy thing, like we should be like the families on TV and grin and laugh and be having fewer cavities all the time. I swear to God, it's like having more cleaver for a dad. I gotta hang. The firing squad has arrived. Come in. So where's my blindfold? What blindfold? I thought the condemned prisoner always got a blindfold. You don't really want to leave home, do you, honey? Yes, I do. It isn't our house anymore. It's his. Well, of course it's our house. It's always been our house. I loved your father. And when he died, I thought, well, maybe that's it. Maybe you only get one chance to be happy. I never thought I'd love anybody that much again. I know, Mom. I miss him so bad. I know you do, honey. We have a second chance with Jerry. He's a wonderful man. 
and he wants to care for us. Can't you just give him a chance? I'm trying. I'm really trying hard. There's just something about him. Well, what is it? I don't know. I just... I hope we're not still upset over this uh, school business. We were just talking about that. Ah. Everything will look clearer in the morning, huh? We'll work it out. Good night, sweetheart. Hey. Sweet dreams, Tef. Night, Jerry. Wilbur, will you turn the page for me? Ed, train yourself. You've got a tongue. No, I better not. I tried it yesterday and swallowed the comic section. <laughs> Wilbur. Okay. I'll be as quiet as a church mouse. <laughs> I used to love this show when I was a kid. It wasn't until I got in high school I realized horses couldn't talk. I bet you were cute back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see a picture of you. You would, would you? Mm-hmm. You never talk about your past. Didn't even exist until I met you. Past is important. Try to touch the past. What are we doing here? This is the house where Henry Morrison murdered his family. You think I don't remember that? I was here that night. I never want to see anything like that again. Yeah, I know a friend of mine sent me your article. I was bumming around Europe at the time. It took nine months for me to get it. Cops never ever did catch a guy. File's inactive. I think it should be reopened. Yeah, well, talk to the cops. I'm just a reporter. Well, I talked to the cops. They could give a shit. Listen to me a minute, all right? Now, three weeks before Morrison killed him, he quit his job, didn't tell anybody, got up every morning pretending to go to work, and came home the same time every night. So? So how far could he go every day and still get back the same time every night? Look at this. He has to be... Somewhere within this radius. See, what I think is that during that time he was setting himself up a new life somewhere close by. What do you want from me? Just this. You do a follow-up story, right? You run a picture of Morrison. Your paper circulates in this area. 
But there's a chance that someone might recognize me in the paper. If they do, Brandon, you're a hero. Why are you chasing this? Vicki Morrison's maiden name was Ogilvy. She was my sister. Ah, Jesus. I'm sorry, Ogilvy, huh? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Okay. This place is mine now. You want to go inside? Fuck no. I guess you all know why I asked you here. It's uh, because when I first started with American Eagle Realty a year ago, you were the first five families I sold houses to. Yeah, Jerry, I've been meaning to ask you about my garage door. Yeah, that would still work, Joe, if you hadn't backed your car into it. <laughs> we met doing business, and we stayed to become friends. And although I may be arguing against the commission here, don't sell those houses of yours, because I like being your neighbor. Well, like hey, wait, I want to get a picture with, with my family. Steph, Susan, come here. Come on down. Come here. Yeah, come, yeah, come, come here. Yeah, come on for a picture. Yeah, come on. Come on, Steph. I don't know. There we are. Okay, shoot away. Uh, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> I hope you don't think what I'm going to say is pretentious. But I, I sell houses. That's my job. But sometimes I think it's more than that. Sometimes I truly believe that what I sell is the American dream. You're here. You can call me sentimental, I don't care. When I came here, I was a stranger. But I've never felt more at home anywhere in my life. I have beautiful friends, I have a wonderful new family. Uh, have a good time, thanks for coming. <laughs> Well, you look at this. I swear they'll print anything to make a buck. Just simple sensation. That's all. It's weird, that's all. What's that, Herb? Oh, that guy in Bellevue who killed his whole family. Cut him up with knives. I don't think I know about that. Well, happened last year. That's what I was talking about. Now, this, this thing's a year old, and then they go raking it up again. Mm. This is terrible. Jerry. Jerry. You all right? <sighs> this kind of thing really gets to me, you know? That a man could be driven to do something like that to his own family, to his children. Uh, I don't even want to know about it. Makes you wonder, though, what's it take to make a guy turn his family into Gainsburgers? Maybe they disappointed him. Hey, I thought this was supposed to be a party. Hmm? Hey, Tommy! Tommy, come here. Now you're Blackbeard the pirate. Thanks, Mr. Blake. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> uh, Jeff, honey, could you get down and get the ice cream, please? Let me up. 
We are going to keep this family together. You had better believe it! Hi, honey. Oh, the ice cream. Honey, you know how it is. Uh, being a salesman, you have to smile at everybody all the time, you know. Sometimes I I just have to get off by myself and let off some steam, you know. Mm-hmm. You know how it is. Sure. I gotta get back or Mom's gonna wonder where I'm at. This don't happen. It happened to them. Let me see if I follow your thinking. A man murdered his family. You hate Jerry. Therefore, Jerry is the man who murdered his family. Yeah, that all adds up. Karen, maybe Jerry isn't the guy. But you don't know him like I do. You didn't see him down in the basement. And I did some checking. Guess when Jerry showed up in town and met my mom? Right after this. So what are you going to do, Nancy Drew? I'm writing this letter to the Seattle Examiner, and I asked him to send me a picture of Emmy Morrison. I told him I was doing a social studies project on mass murders. Off the deep end. Give me a break. run his fucking picture. Now, how the hell is someone supposed to identify him when you don't run the picture? Get your hands off of me. My editor didn't run the picture, not me, huh? I almost didn't get the article in the paper at all. Now, what do you want from me? I just work here. I don't make policy. I'm sorry. Yeah, just don't let it happen again. You almost gave me a corner, huh? Here. Now, this is a job for professionals, Ogilvy. You're just one man. Why don't you get on with the rest of your life? Forget about it. You saw what he did to him. Can you forget about it? My mom says that you only charge half of your regular fee to see me. Uh-huh. How come you do that? My three o'clock patient is a schizophrenic, so I charge him double. It all works out. <laughs> Besides, I like seeing you. You were going to tell me your idea. I want to go to boarding school. Don't say it's running away. What's the matter with running away? It's just a... What? Sometimes running away is the best thing to do. It gives everybody some breathing room, right? Right. What do your folks say? I think I could talk my mom into it. And what about him? Oh, he has this crazy thing about breaking up the family. I swear, if you saw this man, you would say, commit him. Well, you probably are driving him crazy to a certain extent. Why don't I have a talk with him? If you could be on my side. I am on your side. I'll give your father Sorry. I'll give him a call.
home awfully early. Hi, honey. I ran out of appointments. Anything for me? As a matter of fact, something did come for you. Can I have it? I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know if it's the kind of thing you should be looking at. I'm just kidding. Here you go. Jerry, Dr. Bondren's on the phone for you. What does he want? Wants you to come in for a talk. Tell him I'm not here. Why don't you just come up and talk to him? Tell him I'm not here. And if he calls back, tell him I'm still not here. Um, Jerry can't come to the phone right now. Could I have him call you back? Uh, that would be fine. Thank you. Take it, you're the guy that called me, Ogilvy. I'm Lieutenant Wall. You're in my parking space. Yeah, well, I figured this way you'd have to talk to me about Henry Morrison. Well, for starters, Morrison isn't his real name. What is it? God knows, we don't. His personal history was falsified and his prints were untraceable. We talked to a criminal psychologist who proposed the possibility you might be interested in. He said it was possible Morrison had done it before. Married into an existing family, then something upset his world and he wiped him out. You knew him. What do you think? I think it's better than a possibility. What do you plan to do about it? For the moment, nothing. We don't have a single lead. The guy is smart. We won't have anything to go on unless he does it again. So you're gonna wait till he gets another family and butchers them? You're not hearing me. We got nothing. Zilch! Lieutenant, if you were me, what would you do? Just between the two of us? I'd get a gun and blow the son of a bitch away. Awesome. 
How do you do, Mrs. Leitner? I'm Jerry Blake. How do you do? Please sit down. Thank you. I've come to talk about the situation with Stephanie. I'm afraid, Mr. Blake, it's a lost cause. Well, I'm sort of a believer in lost causes. Okay. I guess I have to face it. Jerry Blake is the most wonderful man in the world. He got you back into school, didn't he? <laughs> you know why, don't you? To get out of seeing you. Did it ever occur to you that maybe it isn't the rest of the world that's wrong? I told you how phony he is and how he acts out in the basement making faces at himself. Oh, come on. We all do that. Why did he freak out and absolutely refuse to come and see you? Because he's afraid of my eagle eye? It's more than that. He scares me, Dr. Bondurant. I'm afraid of him. Jerry Blake here. Well, which house was that? Yes, sir, I'd be happy to show you that house, Mr. Martin. What about 4.30 tomorrow? Fine. I'll see you then. So, uh, Steph, are you going to be coming back to art class? No. They put me in typing instead. Jeez, what a waste. You know, you got a lot of artistic talent. Get out of here. No, really, I mean it. You could have a great future as a big shirt designer. <laughs> I really like the one you made for Mr. Conroy. <laughs> Fit with the green hand for this grease. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I bought my own paints, would you make a shirt like that for me, too? No, put them on to your face. All right. Come on, man, right now. Come on, give it to me. All give right. me your best shot. Come on. Oh, Ming, she takes a jab and hops. Ah! <laughs> Baker steps in for a devastating shot in the jaw. <laughs> oh, uh, Main. Pounds win it is midsection. Gotcha. Bigger gets up in the side. Um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow in school, huh? Sure. Great. Okay. Bye. Bye. Jerry Blake. It's a great looking house. Yeah, wait till you see the inside. Come on, I'll show you around. Come on in. Get lost in the closets in here. It's great. Kitchen back here. Kitchen back there, yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you about these. I love these hardwood floors. Look at the inlay. I think it's I think this is terrific. Nice, very nice. Come on back, take it right here. I'll show you the downstairs bedroom. Odd space here. A lot of room for kids. You a family man, me? Confirmed bachelor. How about you, Jerry? Happily married. I wouldn't trade for the world. I don't know. I guess it works for some guy. What's that? Oh, you know, the family. Home sweet home. All that crap. Stress management. Oh, sounds complicated. <laughs> the kitchen has been all remodeled. 
built-ins and like this. I try to find ways for employers and employees to get along with less friction. I ask questions, they give me answers. For instance, how do you sleep at night? Uh, how do you sleep at night, Jerry? I sleep like a baby. See, that's interesting. Because I think there'd be a lot of stress in your line of work. I suppose there's a certain degree of stress in every job, Ray. It just uh, depends on how you handle it. Which way am I facing? North. Come on in here, Ray. A great big room for kids to tumble around in. You know, a house like this should really have a family in it. You mean you won't sell it to me because I don't have one? Oh, no. I didn't say that. This is all being remodeled here. You really are a cheerleader for the old traditional values, aren't you, Jerry? Well, tradition is important. Sounds like you had a strict upbringing. You might say that. Let me ask you a question, Ray. Sure. Are you interested in buying a house or in me? Sorry. Force of habit. My wife gets on me for that all the time. I thought you said you were a bachelor. Uh, recently divorced. I see. Sometimes I forget I'm not married anymore. Probably just stress. Ah! Spoiling! How'd you get on to me? I, I'm looking for a house. Oh, so, yeah. oh, oh, well, I don't think this house is right for you. I think you'd be more comfortable somewhere else. This house is for a family. You know what I mean? A family? Home sweet home? All that crap! <laughs> Dr. Bondrant. Well, Dr. Bondrant. Rest in peace, Doctor. You're disappointed you didn't turn out to be Jack the Ripper. I was wrong, Karen. I was totally wrong. Safety.
there. I'm sorry, honey, I have some bad news about Dr. Bondrant. His office just called. What? I shouldn't go to my hour tomorrow? No, no, it's more serious than that. There was an accident sometime last night out by the highway. He lost control or something. His car went off the road. His car? He's dead, Steph. Sorry. What happened? Nobody knows. Police say he lost control of his car. It's one of those stupid, unnecessary accidents. He was my friend. I know, baby. He was a very special man. In his own way, he helped to bring us together. And nothing is ever going to split us apart. Yeah, would you, honey? Thanks. What do you think? I like it. Is it straight? A uh, little bit towards me. Oh, oh, perfect. Jerry? Yeah? Um, I just want to say that I know I've been in a lot of trouble, and I'm sorry. Well, let's say we owe each other an apology and bury the hatchet, okay? Deal. <laughs> when I was a kid, I went through some pretty rough times myself. So what happened? I outgrew my problems, and so will you. Besides, you'd be too busy juggling boyfriends. Boyfriends? Yeah, you know, boys, girls, dating. <laughs> it's so old-fashioned, aren't you? Uh, guilty as charged, dear honor. There's plenty of time for that, sweetheart. Don't try to grow up too fast, huh? OK. Be nice, and there's a family of birds living in there.
Dear Lord, we thank you for the meal we're about to enjoy, for our dear friends, our wonderful home. But most of all, Father, we thank you for bringing us together as a family. Amen. 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 Sweetheart, everything looks absolutely perfect. What do you think of this turkey, Steph, huh? Looks almost good enough to eat. Yeah. What do you say we carve up this bird? Steph, light or dark? Um... Wait, 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 let me guess. You're the, uh, drumstick type. Two drumstick type. Oh. You know... Until this moment, I never realized what Thanksgiving was all about. Dangerous. Oh no, this bike is totally safe. I met you. Me? You're the one who's dangerous, you and that mean right hook. Come on, chicken. Only if I get to drive. So how come you're not with the ever popular Kathy Lombardo tonight? <laughs> Kathy Lombardo's a stuck up bitch. She dumped you. No, oh, no, I dumped her. All right, all right, she dumped me. Come on, watch where you're going. <laughs> Easy. Um, we're okay now. You can stop holding on so tight. Do I have to? Not if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> School, huh? I guess so. <laughs> That's the Miller stock. Yeah. Anyway, uh, bye. Bye. could go to jail. This girl is 16 years old. So am I. Jerry, what's wrong? This punk was trying to rape our daughter. Well, I just kissed her goodnight. Stephanie, what's going on? Go home, Paul. Steph, are you sure? Go home and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Go! Would somebody please tell me what this is all about? He kissed me goodnight. I wanted him to. I like Paul, Mom. Well, of course you do, honey. Jerry, I really She's don't She's not ready for this. She's big... still a child. I'm not a child. Just because you're all crazy and demented and hung up about sex. Stephanie, don't you talk to your father that way. He's not my father. He's just some crazy creep. How can you even bear to let him touch you? Stop it! He's your father now and you'll respect him. <sighs> Stephanie! Stephanie, come back! Let her go, Susan. She'll come back what when she calms down. What were you thinking of, making such a big, stupid that scene? That boy was practically undressing that her right here on our front porch. Baker, I've known him longer than I've known you. Meaning what? Meaning all the progress we made with Stephanie is just thrown away, just thrown away by you. Thank you. 
want you to take care. You do. Goodbye, Audrey. Don't work too hard, huh? Bye, Joey. Thanks for everything. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. bye. Mr. Jerry. Thanks, Mr. Grace. Good luck. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. for a second. What I'm saying is I think this guy is married again to a divorcee with kids, a widow. I know him. This guy cannot live without a family. Now, you got to help me. I don't have time. Oh, come on, listen. All I'm asking for are copies of the marriage certificates for the last year. Now, how much time is that going to take? More time than I've got or care to spare. Come back in a couple of weeks when we're not so busy. I need them now. Goodbye. Oh, asshole. You're not qualified. What? To call him asshole. It's an earned privilege. You have to know him at least half an hour. Well, perhaps you could help me there, Miss Barnes. I could. The question is, why should I? Because asshole wouldn't like it, and I would. What do you say, Miss Barnes? I say you're qualified to call me Annie. Okay. Honey? Honey? They say this new doctor's one of the best. Have a good session, huh? Miss Main? Miss Stephanie Main? Sorry. Wrong Mr. Meredith? Yeah, that's me. Okay, I'm sorry to bother you. Thanks.
house was supposed to be empty. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Hi. I'm Bill Hodgkins. Oh, the man who phoned about the job, right? That's right. Roy Chesterton. How do you do? You ever sold insurance before? Yeah, back east in Pennsylvania. If there's a policy I haven't sold, I'd like to know what it is. You specialize in any one area? Well, I'm pretty comfortable with all of them, but if I have a personal crusade, I guess it's family-related policies, particularly life insurance. Yeah, it's a toughie. People don't like to face the fact that they're going to die someday. I know I don't. Death is always something that happens to someone else. That's why I really believe that I'm protecting the family. I'm glad to hear you say that, because that's our main objective here. Jerry, we have to talk, honey. About what? About what? About what is happening to our family. I'm taking care of it. By yourself? Mm-hmm. Is Gerald Blake home? No. Was he supposed to show you a house? He sells houses? Yes, he does. Can I help you? No, I'll just drop by later. See, I'm not even sure it's the same Gerald Blake. Well, I could give him a message for you. No, that's OK. If it's the guy I know, I'd rather just surprise him. All right. OK, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm Bill Hodgkins. I just uh, rented the house next door. Oh. So we're neighbors. Uh-huh. I'm Dorothy Reinhardt. Welcome to Madison Street. Thank you. Hard work. Well, the kids are supposed to do it. But, well, you know how kids are. It's just you and the kids, then?
Mm. Jerry Blake, please. I'm sorry, but Mr. Blake is no longer connected with this agency. No, there must be some mistake. Uh, no, there isn't. I, I can't give you his phone number, though. Uh, let's see. It's, uh... Well, I know that number. I'm calling from that number. I'm sorry, madam, but Mr. Blake left several days ago. Well, thank you very much. This is Fairfax. Not for long. Put this in the trunk. I'll be right out. I'm leaving now! Is this him? Is this the guy? Sure. I'm having an affair with a cab driver. You let her in your cab, and I'll break every bone in your body. I'm not a cab driver, okay? Uh, okay. I just want to ask you a question. You ever seen this guy before? Huh? Uh, the beard's new, but he looks something like the guy who sold us this house. You know what I mean? Could be him. He sells houses. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Showing the Morton house to some folks from California. Don't lie to me, Jerry. What? I called your office today. I didn't get a message. Of course you didn't get a message. They said you stopped working there several days ago. What? The receptionist said that you left. That idiot! That new girl can't be... Susan, I never got anyone fired in my life, but that girl, I don't know. You mean you still work there? Of course. Where else would I be? I don't know. I just, I don't know what I thought. I'm sorry. This is very upsetting. Old man Grace is still there. No, forget it, honey. Forget it. She probably just got the name wrong or something. Hodgkins, what's to get wrong? What did you say? Huh? Wait a minute. Who am I here? Jerry. Jerry. Jerry Blake. Thank you, honey. You all right, sweetheart? Where are you going? Susan! Susan! Come here! Come here! Stop it!
Jim Ogilvy. It's blood. Next time, Jim, call before you drop by. Hi, pumpkin. It's okay, sweetheart. I won't hurt you. Steph, come out here now! Get out here! <laughs> That's Steph. Come on, honey. Where are you, Steph? Come on, honey. It's all right. It's all a game, Steph, huh? Ollie Ollie home free. Come on, Steph. It was all a misunderstanding. No! Come here. No! Please! Come to Daddy. Come on. Come here. No! Please! Stephanie! Stephanie!
Stephanie! Stephanie? Mommy? Thank you. 